the 158 Jack made for 38 Special and 357 Magnum. Loaded with 17 grains of H110 with the CCI 550 small Magnum pistol primer. Velocities were 1,295 feet per second, 1,290 feet per second, 1,299 feet per second, 1,295 feet per second, and 1,285 feet per second. Very consistent. Penetration, 17 and a half, 18 and a half, 18 inch, 17 and three quarter, and 21 inch. Results were extremely consistent velocity and penetration wise. It'll be interesting to see how they look outside of the block. Test gun is my carry gun, a model 27, the six and a half inch barrel. Penetration was 17 and a half inch, 18 and a half inch, 18 inch, 17 and three quarter inch, and 21 inch. Recovered bullets came, one came in at 151.7 grains, maximum expansion 0.618 inch, minimum 0.485 inch. This almost became kind of oblongish. The rest of the bullets had a nice round uh, mushroom and this one came uneven and also had the uh, most amount of weight loss due to fragmentation. Next bullet came at 156.4 grains, maximum expansion 0.584, minimum expansion 0.524. Excellent mushroom. Next bullet is 156.1 grains, maximum expansion 0.590, Minimum expansion 0.539 inch. Next bullet 155.6 grains. Maximum expansion 0.582. Minimum expansion 0.541. The next bullet came in at 153.7 grains. And this one was actually struck by a 22 bullet that was, uh, I was trying to use my blocks twice and I ended up uh, uh, hitting this bullet. Um, and uh, so I couldn't take a minimum expansion and a general uh, expansion, nice mushroom of 0.602 that was uh, deformed by the 22 bullet. There was about an average of a three quarter inch permanent stretch cavity that ran about uh, five inches into the uh, wound channels on all five hits. And there was some evidence of permanent stretch all the way out to 12 and in one almost all the way out to 16. Um, there was evidence of good permanent stretch, um, excellent mushrooming, and penetration was about ideal at the around 18 inch mark. 